Today we're going to be talking about the top five apps that are free and easily explain general chemistry one and two. I'm telling you guys, if I would have known about these apps like when I took the class, it would have saved me so much stress and time. My name is Andres Garcia and if you're new here, my channel is all about college, pre-med, and productivity tips. So consider subscribing if you feel like you can gain some value from this channel. So stick around and let's get into the video. The first app that I recommend is Crash Course. Crash Course has a huge following, but if you guys haven't heard of them, they're like the goats of teaching science online. They make videos about OCHEM, chemistry, biology, anatomy, tons of stuff, and they make it super easy to understand. The Crash Course app is pretty easy to use, as you just pick which topic you want to cover. For example, if we wanted to learn stoichiometry and general chemistry, so you just download the chemistry deck, then watch all the videos, and you can access the quizzes that you could take after watching the videos. And they also have decks for organic chemistry, anatomy and physiology, and geography. The second app that I recommend is ChemWiz. This app is super convenient. It allows you to type in any compound and receive the molar mass. So this may not seem like a big deal at first, but as you progress in your chemistry class, you are always going to need molar mass as you're always going to have to calculate it. And as the class gets more difficult, compounds that you have to find molar mass for just become annoyingly large. So here's an example. So let's say we are trying to find the molar mass of 21 carbons, 30 hydrogens, and two oxygens. Press calculate molar mass. So we just type it in and boom. I was pretty pissed when I found out about this app after I took Gen Chem, but hopefully you guys can find some benefit from this app. But one thing is to take this app with a grain of salt, meaning don't solely rely on this app to give you the molar mass of any compound. This app is extremely accurate, but sometimes your answer needs to be more accurate. The third app that I recommend is Periodic Table 2020. In this app, you are given the entire periodic table, but it's not just any periodic table. So check this out. All right, so I'm gonna click on xenon. And as you can see, this element has an atomic number of 54, but we're also able to get an entire overview of the element xenon. Right here, we have an electron shell visual, and this really helps to see like how electrons are positioned in like a 3D space. And probably my favorite tab of this app is the properties tab. Here we get to see the atomic weight, density, melting point, boiling point, valence electrons, and emission spectrum. It's just super convenient to have all the information about any element in one app. The app also has an atomic properties. Now this has like the electron configuration of xenon, along with oxidative states, atomic, covalent, and van der Waals radii. You even get the grid parameters of the element. You'll learn this more in Jenkins too, but it's still useful to have. The fourth app that I recommend is Chem Balancer. This app is low-key overpowered as shit. So initially, you may be asked to balance an equation, but as the semester progresses, you'll just be expected to know how to balance an equation so that you could answer a deeper question that's like rooted in another question, but is also like a different question it gets confusing. The point is, you need to know how to balance an equation. Now that is where a chem balancer clutches up. So here's how the app works. You just type in an unbalanced equation, press balance, and uh, it'll display the balanced equation. It's great for efficiency and getting problems done faster. But I do recommend that you know how to balance equations first before even using this app, and that you at least feel confident doing it. Because if you just rely on this app, you're probably gonna run into some problems along the way. The fifth app that I recommend is Khan Academy. If you guys haven't seen my video on the top seven free apps of OCHEM, first, go check it out, but I also mentioned Khan Academy in this video, and that is simply because they have their shit together. They have comprehensive videos for damn near every single subject that you're gonna have to take. Even if your professor is ass at explaining these chemistry topics, these videos should basically sum it up. Plus, you can add bookmarks on videos that you want to watch again. The sixth app that I recommend is Chemistry AR+. So the way the app works is that you visualize the molecules through your back camera of your phone. So you can like manipulate the molecules and do you see how like it's like a 3D plane? If you're able to visualize it, then you're able to understand it a little bit better. Many times we just see molecules laid out on a like plain piece of paper and it doesn't really give it justice as to what it may actually really look like. And trust me, these different angles really help when trying to just visualize it and understand how a molecule works. And this app has to be followed up by app number seven, VSEPR Chemistry. Invaders. Now this is where it gets fun. This app is similar to the previous app, but it's actually a game. So in general chemistry, we need to know molecular geometry at some point. And sometimes these structures get a little bit complicated, not only having to visualize them, but also to name them. So in this app, you just point your back camera to your surroundings. It's, it's kind of like Pokemon Go. And you just look down at the name of the geometry that you're looking for. Then you kind of just like wave it around. All right, so this is how you do it. Ready? Let's go. Octahedral, where you at? Boom. Boom. All right, success, let's go. What, what, what else we got? All right, uh, where you at, where you at, homie? There she be. Boom, let's go. Easy dubs, easy dubs. Octahedral. Oh. 
So y'all get the point. Doesn't really feel that bad. It's actually kind of fun. So I've said all of my favorite general chemistry apps that are free on the App Store. But here are two other general chemistry apps that both are just $1 and they're amazing. So we have chemical substances and we also have general chemistry quiz. Both of these apps are great and I would highly recommend just getting the free ones first and seeing how you like those. And then if you guys want to upgrade, then definitely go along with these ones. So let me know what you guys think about these apps. Let me know if they help. I'm going to leave a link to every single app that I just mentioned in this video in the description box below. So thank you guys for watching. And if you'd like to see similar videos, definitely check out the ones on the end screen and definitely subscribe if you feel like you can gain value from this channel. If you guys can please hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video as it really does help me grow my channel. So thank you guys again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.